So people think of tendons as relatively simple things that just transmit the force between the muscle and the bone. It's really not like that at all. It's much, much more complex. And the, the most important thing that tendons do is store and release energy to allow um, us to propel ourselves or to uh, be athletic with much less metabolic cost. So sprinting down a 100 metre track, most of our propulsion forward of our calf comes from the spring behaviour of the Achilles. Now to do that, a tendon has to have a really complex structure and there's some fantastic new work by Hazel Screen to show that between the tendon fascicles that um, they slide and rotate, which allows the tendon to, to really literally act like a spring. So there's about 10 different hypotheses from, for how you develop your tendon pathology, but what it appears is that there's some sort of overload that is too much for the tendon that somehow affects the normal tendon matrix and you get changes in the matrix that are progressive that uh, eventually lead to a tendon degeneration which we know pretty much can't recover. It's, it's a pretty much a, a tissue that will never act like a tendon again. So you can have profound pathology, profound degeneration in your tendon and have no pain. So the converse is not absolutely true. It's very hard to have tendon pain when you don't have pathology, but you can have a lot of pathology without tendon pain. So what our physiotherapy interventions, our loading interventions do, is change the capacity of the tendon, make it tolerant to loads, regardless of the pathology. That takes away the pain, but it actually doesn't alter the pathology very much at all. We very rarely clinically image tendons anymore. Really, it's a clinical diagnosis, and your imaging really doesn't change very much at all in terms of how you're going to approach that tendon. What we do know is it's not prognostic and it's not a good outcome measure. That is, what your tendon looks like at baseline doesn't give us any information about how it's going to respond to treatment. Neither does serial imaging of tendons actually tell us anything um, about the tendon recovery. So you can actually be fully recovered from your pain, back at your sport, and your tendon can look exactly the same as it did at baseline. People are often told they have a tear or they have degeneration. People get very frightened of those terms and unnecessarily because the reliability of imaging is relatively poor. And we know that you can have the worst looking tendon on imaging and actually still have a very good outcome. So what happens when you have a pathology or develop a pathology in your tendon is you get a response in the tendon and you end up somehow, and we don't know how, you end up with as much normal tissue as a normal tendon. So even though you have a pathology, you have a thicker tendon, and most of that thickness in the tendon is comprised of good tendon structure. So we explain to our patients that even though you have an area of pathology, you actually have a lot of fantastic tissue that we can work with. And our job to load you and as physiotherapists and with exercise is to actually get the load tolerance up of the normal part of the tendon. We don't care about the pathology that much. So tendons are only loaded with fast activity. So maximum tendon load is a fast eccentric load. That's the energy storage part of the spring behavior that they do. Any low speed activity is not going to be provocative for a tendon. So someone can do slow heavy weights and actually not provoke their tendon at all. And in fact, it's a very good differential diagnosis sign. Tendons talk to you 24 hours later. So what happens is if I put a load on a tendon today, it will tell me tomorrow if it's been happy with the load. So we educate our patients about that relationship and they very quickly learn what activities are provocative for their tendon. They very quickly learn to reduce those. If somebody stops having pain when they've loaded the tendon to the maximum they want, that's an indication of full recovery. What you see with people is you're right, they get halfway through a program and think that they're recovered go back to too much activity, their pain comes back. It doesn't take very many times for that, for them to realise, in fact, they actually have to put the time in to get it fully recovered. Um, and if they do that, they can be pain-free or virtually pain-free in their activity, which is what they came to you in the first place for.